morning, everybody, and welcome to another segment of Quilting Quickies here at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about the row by row shop hop a little bit and a project that we're doing here at our store to participate in this great event. I believe all 50 states and some of Canada are participating this year in row by row and all you have to do is go to the participating shops and everybody will get a free pattern and most of the stores will be offering a little kit to go along with their pattern. Now, if you use the rows, like this is our row in a quilt, the first one to come back in with a finished quilt gets a pack of 25 fat quarters from each of the stores. So you want to get yours done quickly as you can. Visit eight shops in the area or if you're traveling and bring it in and you'll, you'll be our winner. One winner per store, but there's lots and lots of stores participating. This year's theme for Row by War Row is water. So we made some, this our row is some cute little sailboats and then at the bottom I put prairie points for the waves that are on the ocean or the lake or wherever we're at. Now if you remember last time we did use the prairie points with the pinwheel table runner, this time we're going to use it along the bottom of a quilt or when we put our four blocks together we're going to use these as the outside border. So once again I'm going to show you how easy it is. This is a row by row charm pack that we have. Um, this is from Northcutt Fabrics and we also have all the fabrics from Timeless Treasures that go with this as well. But there's lots of different varieties in here so you can purchase one of these to make prairie points easy, fast, quick, no cutting for you. So what we're going to do again is we're going to take one of the, the charm squares so it looks like this and then we're going to press it shut. And I'm going to show you here how we use this wonderful ruler and we talked about this two weeks this is the third week in a row but I just really love this and you can get it right here at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew um, but it is the Prairie Pointer by Susan Cleveland and what we're going to do is we're just going to line up the bottom so here's the folded edge here is the cut edge and we're going to line this up at five inches because we knew that we started with a five inch piece and we're simply going to fold it against the line this way and fold it against the line this way to make our prairie point and then you're going to press that. Now for this demonstration this iron is not hot it's cold um, but of course you're going to want to use a hot iron to do this and also the metal in this prairie pointer also helps to make these creases nice and tight and what we're going to do then is just take that out and then we're going to go over here while this iron is setting the seams or setting the creases in this one then we'll go ahead and work on another one once again the five inch in the bottom line these up with the line down the middle and I don't know if you can see that on the camera but it's really a great little line and then by the time we get this one ready to go this one should be set and it'll be more like this and then again we're going to place our iron on here, just slide that out and then work on another one so you can have something going all the time. It makes it really, really quick. All right, so we have our prairie points and we have them all pressed and ready to go. And I'm going to demonstrate on this one. This is the simply the same block that we used, um, only it's, we set them together this way so you don't even really know that these are sailboats in this this is just kind of an abstract piece but what we're going to do to start off with is line these up and however they line up what we want to do is make these corners match up like this so if we put another one over here we're going to want to make sure that these line up like that and then you just make them fit however many you need and you might need to overlap a little bit. And what makes it really nice to do about these is once you get them there, if you just take a little dab of glue on the back, and this is washable glue, and that will keep them in place for you. Some folks also like to put a little dab of glue down here to keep those down. 
Sometimes if your iron isn't hot enough, those won't stay down either. So if you want to just put a little dab of glue, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not cheating. That's quilting smarter. So then once we get these on here, what we want to do is line up some other ones right on top. So if you kind of can know where these center lines are, you just kind of line up your edges with that. So that'll go right in the middle. And then we're going to do another one on top like this. And once again, I would probably take a little bit of glue, press those down so they stay in place. You know I'm the queen of no pins. I don't like to pin wherever I can make it um, faster. I am always about that. And again, if you want to take and put a little glue in here. So then what we're actually going to do once we get this part done is we're going to take it to the sewing machine. And we're going to just make sure that when we sew this, we are underneath the quarter inch seam allowance. So this is about an eighth of an inch. You just take it to your sewing machine and you sew them all down like that. Doesn't have to be anything fussy, but this will make it a lot easier to put your binding on that these are all sewed down. So we're going to go around all sides of this. So we're going to add more over here and just keep going until I get this all done. And then we're going to put our binding on just like we did here. Now this is a row for a quilt. I just bound it because it's going to be around all summer long. People are going to want to touch it and see it. But this one, when I put the binding on, this will be a, just a cute little table topper or a little wall hanging and you can hang it this way or you can hang it square whatever you want to do. But prairie points are a really fun way to add a lot of dimension and texture to your quilts. And the sky is the limit on these. Um, you can do on the edges of quilts, on the edges of anything. Absolutely love prairie points. And the easiest way to do them, of course, is with a charm pack. You can use any size squares you want. But I tell you what, this saves you a ton of time. So we hope to see you for the Row by Row Shop Hop here and in all of our neighboring states, all across the United States, and also our neighboring shops right here in Minnesota. So thanks again for joining us. We'll see you soon.